Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are doing a what is new at Sephora haul because let's face it, there's always something new at Sephora and we are already experiencing summer launches. I was gonna do a spring routine video today, but it is raining and kind of crappy outside. So we are doing this instead, um, but I will have more routine tutorial, get ready with me videos coming soon. Lots of exciting things going on. Anyway, blah, 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 who cares? Let's get to the goods and the makeup. My best friend, Michelle, visited me for like almost an entire week and we went to Sephora a few times. So some of it I have put to the test and other things are still brand, brand new. The first item that I wanna talk about that I have already put to the test and am thoroughly enjoying, I don't know what my deal is, but anything with gold, whether it is that Guerlain primer or a mask or a cleanser, gold just, I don't know, am I just actually a princess and I'm not aware of it? Because my skin likes gold so much. This is from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the 24K Gold Pure Luxury Cleansing Butter. Now this comes with a sponge. I haven't used it with the sponge yet, but you only need a tiny little bit and you cleanse the skin, it removes makeup, it has chamomile butter and honey, it really increases hydration, it gets rid of makeup, it feels very fancy and exciting. I had a cleansing butter that I really, really enjoyed and then I ran out of it and kind of moved on to the next and like forgot how much I enjoy the experience of it being really literally like you're slathering butter all over your face, but somehow it's really enjoyable and satisfying that it takes all your makeup off. So I do really enjoy this. This is what the box looks like. Wait, I'll show you what the sponge looks like. It's in here. No, it's not. I lied. <laughs> I also recently picked up this Sephora Favorites Paint It Pink. This is a $122 value and it is $40. Now I was going to repurchase a beauty blender, which is I believe $26. You see the original pink guy right here. So in my mind, I was like, well, it's not that much more. You get a full size shadow from Urban Decay. You get a Deborah Lipman polish. You get a more sample size of a Makeup Forever gloss that I already know I love. You get a Tarte blush, a Becca blush. You get a Laura Mercier lipstick. I mean, it's a nice, generous kit. If you like pinkish makeup, then I think you would love this. I was going to do a hot or not on this kit exclusively, but I just can't even wait. I'm like, there are other things that I want to hot or not because there are so many exciting launches right now. And I just want to say, go ahead, thumbs up. This is a hot kit. I think the value is amazing. This is one of the items that was sent to me. I have actually not even put this to the test yet, but this is, I believe, exclusive to Sephora. This is the Origins Maskimizer. This is something that you spray on the skin before you use any face mask, and it is said to increase the effectiveness of whatever face mask you are using. I'm not sure how that works or why, but um, it looks... Promising. I mean, I like having damp skin when I apply a mask anyway. It smells really nice. So this is just going to help ingredients penetrate a little bit better. And I will let you guys know what I think of this. I recently did repurchase the Dior Iconic Overcurl Mascara. Now, I sadly have stopped using my Shantikai $70 Faux Sils Longest Lash Mascara because it's past the three month mark and I don't want an eye infection and I just, it was done, dried out, done. I haven't repurchased that one. I can't, I can't get there. Like I want to, but I just, you know, I have others that I like. So I thought I would go back to one that I really love and works really well for me. This is from Dior. This is the Dior Show Iconic Overcurl. I got it in waterproof because lately, I don't know, with allergies or whatnot, I've just been rubbing my eyes more than usual and I have found that I need a waterproof formula right now. So, uh, this is an oldie but a goodie, so that was a repurchase. This is something brand new to Sephora that I am so excited about. This smells so absolutely delicious. This is the Two-Step Foot Fetish Care for soft, irresistible, ready-to-go feet. I actually hate feet, and it's a weird thing. My family makes fun of me for it. I just think feet are gross, and um, because of that, I tend to take really good care of my feet. Um, so I'm all about like foot lotions and having a good pedicure and um, all of that stuff. So this is fast absorbing non-slip 
butter formulation and it comes with a pumice board as well. I haven't tried this yet. I put it on the back of my hand in the store and it just smelled so good and absorbed so quickly that I was like, yes, I will figure out how that goes for me. I think this is by the brand Brazilian Beach Bum or something. They have a, a body butter as well that I really wanna try out, but I'm starting with this. I also picked up this Shiseido. Is it just Buki or is it Ibuki? I'm not sure. I'm obsessed with their cleanser. It's a gentle cleanser. I have talked about it in so many videos. And this is the refreshing mist that is part of that collection. I have to say the sprayer on this is not ideal. And to be honest, I don't really know if it does anything, but I'm willing to give it a try because I love that cleanser so much. I also picked up a body blur. Can you tell that we're like in the season where skin is exposed and I'm like all about like my feet need to look good, my legs need to look good, like everything head to toe, like let's pay attention to the exposed areas of the body. So I got this Vita Liberata Luxury Tan Body Blur. This has an HD skin finish, it's a 24 hour wear. I love their self tanners. This is just an instant makeup that you can use on the body that's gonna be transfer resistant. Whenever a company launches one of these, I always like to give it a try. To be honest, the Benefit one, I tried out the other day and I did not like it. I hauled it in my last What's New at Sephora haul and they sent it to me, which I'm always cautious. Like I hate getting a gift and then being like, I don't like it. You know, like I kind of feel bratty, but I want to tell you why I didn't like that one. It's very, very sticky. The scent of it is nice. Um, but the feeling and texture was a little bit too sticky. If you like a gel texture with a body makeup, then you might enjoy that one. But for me, I like something that's a little more blurring and smoothing. So that's why I'm excited to try this one. Um, however, benefits other bronzing products like the Hoola amazing. Um, the body one just did not work out for me. I have another body product though. Let's just stay right here on this theme. This one is out of this world so good. This is from Becca. This is the Luminous Perfecting Mousse. This is in Palm Beach. This stuff does not transfer. It really gives you a very realistic instant tan. It is easy to blend in. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. Um, I haven't had this for like eight months, I bought a bottle of it and I traveled with it and the whole top split open. It got all over my clothes and it ruined my clothing. So while we're talking about these body products, if you're traveling with them, make sure you keep them in a Ziploc bag. But also I was upset that I had like half a bottle of product that I really couldn't do anything with because the whole top split open. But that being said, I've almost repurchased this so many times and I finally was just like, screw it. It's the best one out there. I'm just gonna be extra super careful with the bottle. I know what happened last time, but I'm gonna be like more paying attention and it's worth it. So even after that disaster, if I'm repurchasing something, you know it's good. <laughs> I love the name of this. I picked up the Dior Skin Forever and Everwear. Forever and ever, forever, ever, ever. This is a makeup base with sunscreen. It has an SPF of 20. It comes in a little kind of shaker bottle like so. This is a primer. You guys know I love the Giorgio Armani Prima, so I feel like this is gonna be a little bit of a similar thing, but I am curious. This has an SPF, and if something is gonna make my makeup wear forever, ever, I wanna check it out. Um, that being said, I picked up the wrong foundation. I thought I was getting the Forever Ever foundation, but I accidentally picked up the Dior Skin Star foundation, so I need to either play with this and try it out or return it for the correct one. Ooh, this is so exciting, actually. I was so excited to run into these. This was kind of like, yes! New at Sephora, like I know when I get excited when I see a display of things that I don't even think are launching, I get just like, oh, I just love it. So these are from Buxom. These are the lightweight liquid lipsticks. I picked up the shade Centerfold. I picked up the shade Nudist. And I picked up the shade Devious Dolly. Now these are a lip plumping, whipped texture, soft matte lip color. I mean, it sounds great, right? I was playing with these on the back of my hand and they do feel awesome. Long wear liquid matte lipsticks generally do not work out for me. I like Jouer, Jeffree Star. I like the satin version from ColourPop, but 
pretty much everything else I've tried is just too drying for me. So I feel like this is one of those hybrid things that will be matte, long wearing, but really lightweight on the lips as well. And I really like, I'm gonna try these today. These were sent to me, um, but this is a newer item that you can pick up at Sephora. Caudalie came out with new moisturizers and they have something for every skin type. I love Caudalie skincare. This is for combination skin, this is the mattifying fluid. For sensitive skin, the moisturizing sorbet. For very dry skin, the intense moisture rescue cream. And for dry skin, the moisture recovery cream. What I have been putting to the test is this one right here for sensitive skin. And it absorbs really quickly. I've been using this in the mornings and I think it gives a nice amount of hydration without being too greasy or slippery. I've only been using it for about a week or so. Um, just in the morning because I like to use my Benigma or something a little bit heavier at night. But so far, I do really like this. I already own this mask um, and I love it. And I think it is one of the greatest masks ever of all time. This is from Glam Glow. This is the Gravity Mud Firming Treatment that makes you look like the Tin Man. And I just wanted to get one as a travel option because I like that mask so much that I have brought like the full jar with me traveling. So when I saw that they had this as a 100 point perk right now, I grabbed one of these. And then I also grabbed this. This is the SD Edit. This is the Dissolve the Drama 2-in-1 Makeup Remover Plus Cleanser. I think this will come handy with my waterproof Dior show. And also, do you guys want me to do a hot or not on the SD Edit? Because they have a lot of really interesting products, like the yellow lipstick that lightens up any of the lipsticks you already own. They have a teeth whitening lip gloss they have a powder that is supposed to make you look better in photos like a lot of really interesting cool more hip products from estee lauder and they just launched at sephora so let me know what you guys want to see from that collection if you're ordering on sephora.com or you're in store whenever they bring out good 500 point perks like grab them up while you can this is from ole henriksen you get the african red tea foaming cleanser you get a Truth Youth Activating Oil, a Truth Serum Collagen Booster, and then a Truth Sugar Glow Polishing Mask. I'm a sucker for travel size items. Ooh, that smells so good. It smells like lemony and very fresh. I'm gonna try out these skincare items and I will, of course, update you guys in an upcoming favorites or, you know, they'll wind up integrated in a video somewhere, the items that I really fall in love with and recommend. Also, please let me know. I'm still taking requests for the new OMG Tuesday thing. I want to know what you guys want to see. If you want to see more weird kind of makeup items or super, super bargain items, let me know in the comment section below. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day. Here's to a fantastic week, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah. Hey guys, you can also check my videos out on watchable.com or by downloading the Watchable mobile app. Check me out, link is in the description.